We start with the stark findings of an international team of scientists led by the UK Met Office, which raise profound questions about the future of the Earth's climate. The team says that a prolonged heat wave in the Siberian Arctic this year is unequivocal evidence of climate change and that the record high temperatures in Siberia would be impossible without man-made global warming. Findings are of serious concern because here in the UK and the rest of Europe, the Arctic drives much of the weather that we experience. Our chief environment correspondent, Justin Rolat, has the story. Six months of record-breaking temperatures have fueled massive forest fires in the Siberian Arctic this year. Great plumes of smoke were visible on satellite images last month. The red areas on this map show just how exceptional temperatures have been, more than five degrees above average across much of Siberia. That included the highest temperature ever recorded north of the Arctic Circle, a sweltering 38 degrees centigrade. And now a Met Office-led international study has concluded this period of exceptional weather would have been impossible had the world not been warmed by man-made greenhouse gas emissions. Remember the beast from the east, that period of exceptionally cold and snowy weather back in 2018. It shows us that what happens in the Arctic doesn't stay in the Arctic. So there are six main weather systems around the UK and four of those six come from the polar regions or from the Arctic directly. So whilst a lot of this is uncertain, if something happens in the Arctic, it's, it's going to be reasonable to assume that something's going to happen in the UK too. Today's report is yet more evidence that the growing concentration of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is changing our climate. What we're seeing really is, really is unprecedented. It's the strongest result we've ever seen, actually. We've never seen a, a change in the, in the probability of an event of more than 600 times. We've never seen a result like that. This February's storms and floods are also reckoned to have been driven by conditions in the Arctic. And we know the polar region is warming twice as fast as the rest of the world. The long-term impact that will have here in the UK is less certain. Looking at the geological record, we don't think we've had CO2 levels this high for about five million years. So we really don't know what to expect into the future. We're, um, uh, we are in uncharted territory. The reduction of Arctic sea ice cover and melting of the permafrost has accelerated during this year's heat wave. That will drive even more warming and in turn means we can expect more extreme weather here in the UK. And Justin is with me now. Justin, very often, conclusions about climate change are very heavily qualified. But this seems to be different. This certainly is. That's certainly what the scientists are saying, Hugh. Let's be clear, though. The Arctic does often really get very warm in the summer. But this extreme temperature Siberia experienced over six months was, the scientists say, completely unprecedented. Their study concluded that the chances of it happening without man-made climate change was one in every 80 thousand years and that's why they're saying it was almost impossible unless the world had been warmed by greenhouse gas emissions they say this is the strongest climate link to any weather event they've looked at and this was a big team of scientists from six countries they describe the siberian heat wave as unequivocal evidence of the influence of human induced climate change on the planet it doesn't get much clearer than that Hugh. No. justin many thanks once again justin roll out there for us our chief environment correspondent